If you guys missed my last video, I traveled alone across the Pacific to visit Australia. Is Qantas said Qantas or Qantas? How are you feeling? I don't know. Miss International flying across the world by herself. Yes, you heard me right. A kid traveling alone to Australia. Click the link above if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so I have currently made it to Australia and I'm on the beach right now. We're going to be going to a lot of different places this trip and I am here just to say I hope you can please like, subscribe, comment down below and ring the bell to watch more of our content. Thank you. <laughs> Australia, a continent located in the southern hemisphere of the globe, a mega diverse country inhabiting tropical rainforests and savannas to mountain ranges and seemingly endless deserts that cover most of the mainland. A place that lets unique species of animals thrive that can be found nowhere else. This is my homeland, Australia, from my perspective. Okay, so we're gonna go bike riding and I think something's wrong with my bike. You see, it doesn't sound normal. I'll show you why. What? What? See, my bike, it doesn't sound normal. It doesn't, it doesn't look normal. I think, I think it's a clown bike. <laughs> <laughs> this is the state of Queensland, where I was born. Huh? The book? Did you see it? Uh, I see it swimming, yeah. It is also where I'll be spending my summer vacation with my grandparents. Alright, we got into the midway point on the... What, on the bridge that goes to Brisbane? Brisbane is over there. Just kind of see it right there. Very far away, let's see if I can point it out. It's like right there. Maybe it's somewhere right there. Can't really see it. Then. Here's the bridge from Woody Point all the way to Brisbane. So, yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of fish that you can see down in this water. So, yeah. Six and a half hours later. We had to take off our shoes but for yeah. fun. <laughs> this is really fun. And like the patterns on the sand is just. Look at this. Oh, look, there's a jellyfish. Well, look at the patterns. So pretty. Looks like something's been in there. So naturally, the water level here would be about like, I don't know, something like maybe two knees, all right? Think of like another knee stacked on top of a knee. We're like, what, about that high? So we're practically underwater right now, without the water. That's why there's so much wildlife out here, in the little sand. Just little hermit crabs, little wormies, and wonder if we'll find fish. Well, watch this, way. Right? <laughs> it just disappears. Now, wouldn't it be awesome to see me running from the tide coming back? You know, that would be excellent footage, but I don't think it would be um, worth it. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Okay, so the tide's coming back. I promise I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Once it starts roaring at us, I'm gonna start walking, but you can really see, look at it, like starting to just get a little bit rougher and just starting to, you can really see it over there. But this is going to rise in about six hours back to its regular um, level. And they say that this is not even the highest or the lowest it goes because it's a new moon. So maybe we'll get another chance of seeing this. Did you know that Australians don't just eat fish and chips? Most people don't know that one of Australia's favorite foods is the meat pie. The meat pie, a classic Australian hand-sized snack filled with meat and gravy enclosed in crusty pastry. 
Crunchy. First produced in 1947 in a small bakery in Bendigo, Victoria, other meat pies productions date back even further to 1891. Anyways, a meat pie is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hand-sized pie containing diced or minced meat and gravy. Sometimes it will also have mushrooms, onions, or cheese in it as well. I'm advertising their best pies. They better be happy about this. I forgot to record it before I started eating into it, so this is the leftovers. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you how it is after I'm done. And that was definitely the best Aussie pie I've ever had. Somewhere in the town of Mullaney, Queensland, is this beautiful forest you can walk into. Now first off, this isn't your plain old boring forest. This forest dates back to the prehistoric ages when the dinosaurs roamed. It is currently being protected since these types of forests have gradually declined over time to very small areas such as this one. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to be going back in time to the prehistoric ages through this forest, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh man, we're going in the jungle now. Walking through the forest makes you feel you're going back in time, almost as if you enter Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, if you look if you look all the way like that, you can see the top. So during our hike through the jungle, we found patamelons, which are in the same family as a kangaroo and look very similar to a wallaby, but smaller and more rodent-like. If it takes, just run back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Let's see. I know. I know. This is all like National Geographic. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look, there's one right there, too. It's kind of cute. <laughs> In the entrance and exit building, they showcase many fungi, plant life, and animal life that lived in the forest. Sad little beetle. During my trip, we decided to go to Sea Life, which was fun. It is about 40 minutes from Brisbane. It costs about 37 Australian dollars for general admission as an adult. Hello, I am currently at the aquarium with my grandparents. Say hello. Hey, how are you? Hello. And there is a wild, dangerous animal in here. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna jump up and kill us. The aquarium featured a touch pool at the beginning, then displayed different coral reef fish. It also had sharks, penguins, jellyfish, otters, and seals. And yes, all those dangerous animals that live in Australia down under. It was really fun to see the seals do their tricks and swim and jump around the water. And it was also cool to see the penguins. They were really noisy. I am truly thankful that I could have this experience. And even if it wasn't as touristy as other videos, it's something that is going to stick in my memory for my entire life. And thank you to my grandparents, Abuela and Abuelo. Until then, See you next time.
wonder what frogs sound like. I can barely hear that. Oh, sounds like a bird. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching our channel, and please subscribe, leave a comment below, and ring the bell for our next video notification. We'll see you next weekend, guys.